Hello everyone, Data Pioneer here with the Linux Unix Tech Channel and today I wanted to go back out on my um, Farron OS Linux um, desktop uh, on my laptop PC bare metal install. I'm running um, Farron OS Linux on um, my Dell Latitude uh, E6400 business laptop. This is it here. I've got this little widget out here that I keep track of my uh, dual core processor. The temperature is on that and then the fact this is a dual core CPU 0, CPU 1 and then I've got uh, 8 gigs of memory that I've allocated or have installed rather on this uh, bare metal laptop. <clears throat> it's the maximum amount that can be installed and then I have a uh, 3 gig uh, swap that I'm not using right now but uh, this is the arrangement that I have. It's pretty nice. Um, to show you what I've got, here's my uh, menu, and it looks like a menu that's similar to Windows 10. Um, here's my Brave web browser. I'll go out on that and show it to you. Um, according to this, uh, if you haven't looked at the Brave web browser, check it out because um, it blocks ads and it also uh, does HTTPS upgrades for you. Um, it says so far that it estimates that of the 8,806 ads and trackers that it's blocked for me since I've been using it, that uh, I've estimated uh, eight minutes time saved here on this uh, um, browsing experience. All right. Uh, here's my clock out here on the right in the browser, and um, and so check out the uh, the Brave web browser. I think you'll like it. So let's go out to uh, back out to the desktop again, and then I've got Vivaldi here. I've got the files um, file manager, very nice file manager, by the way. Um, of course, you've got you know typical things that you can see here. Um, one of the things I like about it is it's connected. To, it sees my network. Um, it sees the Farron OS desktop here for file sharing, which is uh, downstairs um, on the main PC. I've got the Raspberry Pi and I've got the WD My Cloud and the Windows Network. I'm not running Windows right now except in a, in a VM on the main PC downstairs. But let me double click on the uh, Windows, uh, I mean the Western Digital My Cloud. I've already connected to this before, so it's brought it up automatically for me. But here are the uh, folders that I have, the primary folders, on the personal cloud that I have. Let me double click on the public folder and it should get into it. It's going to have to connect to it before it um, can bring it up, but I'll show you that. This is the public side of my personal cloud. And this is a 5 terabyte personal cloud, by the way, that I have set up. Had it for years. It's still running good. And uh, I like it. It's uh, run, running on Debian Linux. All right, so this is running the Apple file system, uh, Apple file protocol, uh, with the uh, I think the CIWS file system, and um, and so here we are. This is uh, the folders out on the public side, and one of them is shared pictures. If I double click on that, um, it looks like it uh, collapsed for some reason. I'm not sure why that happened. That's the first time I've ever seen that happen. Let me try that again bring it up and uh, it's odd behavior okay public side oh I just needed to click it once there we go alright so this is the, uh, the these are the pictures and the picture folders that I have out on the public side and it's very easy to download from um, from my personal cloud if I want to do a file and uh, open a new window here I can open up another instance of the file manager and so let me uh, bring that over and um, hold on just a moment okay and I will um, make that smaller All right. and here let's, let's go back to the pictures directory on my system and let's say I wanted to download this bridges I already got it on there let's say uh, the Mac standard folder drag it onto my pictures directory on the uh, local system 
I right click and just drag it here and uh, and drop it okay and so what that did was it copied the uh, Mac standard uh, folder directly onto my desktop okay very nice and so uh, I just opened up one I double clicked I'm in the habit of double clicking instead of single clicking here and um, so that's a, a neat way of uh, transferring files to and from my personal cloud this is my local system this being my personal cloud and so I don't have to use an FTP uh, file transfer protocol client nor do I have to use an SSH client to transfer these I can do them uh, back and forth using the Apple file protocol. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this. And uh, next thing I want to show you is uh, here's the store. So this is the um, Farron OS store. And I'll bring this up to full screen so you can see it better. It takes a few seconds for the cache to develop has to build the store each time from the cache and then go out and fetch things from the internet as well. I'm on a uh, wire, wireless connection here upstairs in the bedroom and um, so it's a little slower than it would be wired connected downstairs to the main PC. Uh, there we go. And so this is the um, the Farron OS store and it's using the Vivaldi web browser uh, to render it uh, instead of the Brave. I haven't connected it to the Brave web browser yet. So this is uh, the editor picks or editors picks Blender, Rhythmbox, Thunderbird, Google Chrome, etc. etc. But down here you've got the categories. So you've got accessories, you've got internet, sound and video, customization, office, system tools, games, programming, editor's picks, graphics, science and education, and flat pack. So if I do flat pack and uh, click that, you can see that we have all of these things, including like OBS Studio, which I already have installed, LibreOffice, which is already installed as well. Visual Studio Code is not installed. Caden Live is. So if I click Visual Studio Code, it brings up the Visual Studio Code um, interface here and shows me uh, on a preview of um, Visual Studio Code and what it looks like. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and install this I don't think uh, right now but I could by just clicking this install button right here and installing it right onto my system. Okay, so Let me uh, see if I can go back maybe I'll do that by doing this. No. I don't know how to go back here um, in using this. Let me just close that out all together. Let's move on. All right, so here we have minimized windows. So if I've got various windows open, uh, for instance, I'm recording here with a simple screen recorder. If I wanted to get off of that, I could go there and click that. And it immediately closes all those windows. All right, so here's the windows list. Uh, here's the microphone. Here's the simple screen recorder um, being uh, showing it on, in the taskbar here on the panel, uh, and it's being recording. It's in the record mode right now. Um, here we've got three updates available. Here's my my battery indicator. Here's my networks indicator. My volume, 66 percent. Notification center, and here's my calendar. So it is Thursday the 20th. All right. So this is the things here that show on the bottom panel. And then, of course, with the uh, menu here, uh, which, by the way, if I, let me close that. If I go right click and look at, um, I believe it is uh, show alternatives. Um, the tiled menu is what I'm currently on. Here's the simple menu. The application menu, the application launcher. Here's the application dashboard. So if I switch to that briefly here, I'll show you what that looks like. I'm sure everybody's familiar with that. It uh, brings this kind of presentation up for you. You can type in here to search for an application. Let's say if I want to search for GIMP, 
Uh, there it is. I can click on that and bring that up quite easily on the screen. I kind of like the tile menu though because it gives me the Windows 10 Pro uh, look and feel of the operating system because that's where I came from. The last operating system I had on the main PC was Windows 10 Pro. Uh, although I've been with Linux since its inception in 94 pretty much. So let's let's do a right click here and let's go back to show alternatives. I'll switch back to the tile menu. Uh, and what I like about it, one of the things I like about it's really neat, is in the tile menu, if I'm looking for something in the V, let's say Voco screen, I can go to any letter, click it, and it minimizes it out so I can select the V and immediately move to the V section of this menu and then left click one time on Voco screen and that will bring Voco screen up. Okay. I'm not going to invoke it because I'm already recording with a simple screen recorder. All right, so um, in the tile menu too, if I bring that up, you do have the tiles out here. All right, and so if I wanted to open up the Brave web browser, I could just simply click the tile associated with that and bring that up as well. I would not have to necessarily, um, uh, you know, open it up from the menu on the left. Okay. And then uh, additionally, um, you do have things along the, the left hand side here, which is the favorites part of the menu. Okay, and so this has been a, another look here uh, at um, Ferron OS. This is the January 2020 snapshot. I like it a lot. Uh, I use it every day, both on the laptop and on the main PC. And uh, one of the things I'll be previewing here shortly is a utility that I use to back up my um, image here or create an image or clone of this system in case this fails I can rebuild it and that's called for G4L and I'll be reviewing that sometime in the near future one of the other things I do have though for backups for this system uh, here is something called time shift and it's a very nice uh, backup utility installed in uh, Farron. So here if I go to time shift and open that up, I need to put in my password. And here it is. Okay, and so here are the backups that have been done so far. And we've got a daily or uh, O, which is uh, um, the snapshots for on demand. I've got some daily backups, which are the D designations, and then I've got a daily and a weekly set up here as well. If I go to schedule, uh, I have to go first to settings and then I go to schedule. You can see that I have um, two weekly backups right now set up in the system. All right, And so um, I'm not going to start any of these and so I'm going to just go ahead and close it. All right, And you can choose the location where you have got 916 gigabytes of available space with seven snapshots set up, so it's not bad. I'm going to go ahead and close this out now. All right, so this has been a uh, preview, or another review, rather, of Ferron OS on my bare metal laptop, a Dell Latitude E6400, which is a pretty old laptop, but uh, Ferron loves it. It's uh, got 8 gigs of RAM on it, as I mentioned, and uh, Ferron has no issue with it. So wanted to review that for you, and if you like my video, go ahead and... Uh, uh, select the uh, thumbs up for, for me to help my uh, subscribership. If you want to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that um, bell off to the right hand side when you do so you get notified every time I upload a video. And so this has been Data Pioneer with the Linux Unix Tech Channel. Have a great day. Take care. Bye bye.